got 30. So then I got 30 as my answer. Okay, so you described all the steps that you did. But what I still didn't hear you say is, why did you choose to add 47 plus 33? What made you decide to add those two numbers? Because to, cause if you don't do it, look, you, it will take more space. Like, okay. On the paper. So here's my thinking. I'm going to say I'd like to choose to add 47 to 33 because I need to know how many beads I have to, at the beginning. Like how many beads do I have to start with? Or in this case, how many beads did Sue have? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. How do I know how many beads Sue has to begin with? Here, I'm going to show you something that might help you. Hold on. Can I borrow your pencil? Hold on. Oops, excuse me. I'm sneaking through here. Uh-oh. I'm through. Okay. Here we go. Here, I'll show you what I'll show you what might help you. I'm going to borrow your pencil, okay? Right here, I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to put an arrow and draw it right there and say, this is beads to start with that's that's the red plus the yellow so i had to find the total beads to start with and that's the red plus the yellow that's why i chose 47 and 33 so why did i choose the 47 and 33 Okay, and so to do that, I have to say, give me the total of the red and the yellow beads, right? And that's why 43 plus, I mean, 47 plus 33. All right, does that make sense? So when I'm asking for reasoning, I'm asking for something like this. And I like to label it by putting an arrow and pointing to it. All right?